It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this white spirit effect in After Effects. I hope you guys liked the preview, I thought this effect was very unique and creative and uh, probably a cool effect you can use for your music videos. Also if you guys didn't know I recently updated the TV Glitch presets V3. And this is so far my best editing pack and I think it looks absolutely amazing. It has over 40 effects presets and a bunch of bonuses in the pack. And if you guys want to check this pack out, I'm going to give you guys a discount code for the pack. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. But let's start with the tutorial now. So I've opened up Oftex here. I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing the effect on and... The first thing we're going to be doing is basically roto brush our footage we added to the composition. So yeah, you're going to be roto brushing all of the clips you have or you're going to be using for this effect. And if you guys don't know how to roto brush, I've made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description. Now, when you have roto brushed, your clips are going to look something like this here, a cutout version of the artist here. And you're basically going to uh, duplicate the clips here. So for the first clip here, I'm going to press Ctrl D, then go to the bottom layer, delete the roto brush effect, do this for all of the footage you're going to be using. Now I'm going to be adding effects to the roto brush layer. And the first effect I'm going to be adding is called Camera Lens Blur. And this one I'm just going to set the blur radius to 1 here, and then change the shape to Decagon. And this is just to uh, make the uh, edges a little bit more uh, smoother basically. After that you're going to be adding invert and you can just use the normal RGB here. You can play around with maybe lightness. One of those two works very well. And as I told you guys earlier we updated the TV glitch presets v3 and I'm going to be showing you guys one of the effects from that pack. And I'm going to make a adjustment layer, Control alt y And here I'm going to be adding the seventh effect from that pack. And this is the effect you will be getting. Looks very, very cool in my opinion. There's like night vision glitch effect here. Super cool in my opinion. And if you guys want to check this pack out, you can use a discount code I gave you guys before. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. I think this pack is amazing and works super well for your music videos and projects you're working on. Now back to the spirit effect here. We're going to be adding deep glow and here set the radius to 750 and then the exposure to 0.75 and then i'm going to press on mold here so we can see uh, the background but now our roto brushed layer is done here so it's going to look something like this for the moment looks very clean so far now for the background layer here we're going to be adding black and white so it's going to look something like this and here i'm going to uh, just drag the all the colors down to the max so something like this i think looks the best you guys can adjust if you guys want to be want it to be a little bit more brighter but i think it should be very dark so a lot darker than it's originally so maybe something like this just make it darker and then you're going to be adding noise set the noise amount to 15 percent after that add camera lens blur and here you can set it to uh, what you guys feel look the best i feel like two works very good and it's not too blurry so i think two is the best now you can copy all of these settings here so Control a Control c and then copy it to all of the other clips so to the other background clips here basically copy it to them and then do the same with the root brush here. And to select all of the effects in this scenario, we're going to be just clicking on one of the effects here, then hold shift, go down to the last effect, click on it, and it's going to be marked those. Press Ctrl C, go to the next rotor brush clip here, Ctrl V, last one, Ctrl V. And so far, I think this looks absolutely amazing. And if you guys want to hide a little bit of the like maybe rotor brush fails and uh, you know some small details that you want to want to hide a little bit more you can make a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here you can add radial blur set the amount to free and then the type to zoom 
this is just going to cover up some small errors you maybe have while editing and this is the result you will be getting i think this was a very cool and unique effect to make and uh, yeah i hope you guys like this effect too and if you guys did don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial and don't forget to check out our website with amazing editing packs just like the one i showed you guys before and don't forget to check out our socials join our discord server and i will see you guys soon take care and